everyone. So we're going to attempt to teach the boys here how to prepare chicken curry and some samosas, which are from the uh, Asia subcontinent of India. And uh, we're gonna do kind of like a working family type preparation, which is gonna be like quick. It's gonna take a little bit less time than the traditional, but it's gonna be uh, very good and tasty at the same time. So uh, glad you're here with us. So the first step that we're gonna do uh, for the chicken curry is we're going to peel and cut our potatoes. So uh, that's what we're gonna do right now. All right, so we're going to make the curry paste now, right? So we're gonna take an onion, and we're gonna cut the onion into four pieces, and we're gonna put it in a blender, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're gonna use some garlic for the curry paste. Uh, typically, you would buy the whole garlic cloves and then you would peel them and uh, skin them and cut them and dice them. But in the interest of time, we're just going to take one spoon of garlic and put it in our blender. Okay, so now we are going to use ginger. Same thing. You Normally, you would take the ginger um, whole and peel it and cut it, and we don't have enough time for that during the work week. So we're going to put some ginger in a spoon. One teaspoon is good enough for the, for the ginger, and we're ready to go. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix it all together to make the curry paste. So just to recap, we did an onion, garlic, and ginger. Okay, go ahead, Noah. Good, perfect. Now we're gonna put this in a little bit of oil and start uh, frying it. Okay, Nikki, so what we're going to do now is the curry uh, paste is frying with oil, right? And we're going to add our potatoes and have that cooked first, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm gently putting these in so they don't splash around and we don't have a lot of hot oil splattering around us or burning us, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's that. And uh, we're going to cover it back up and let those things cook for a little bit. And then we're going to add the chicken and some of the spices, okay? Mm -hmm. Good job, high five. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the chicken in since our potatoes have been cooking for a while. Um, we're using chicken breast because it was easy to cut with a, with a, with a kitchen scissors. So uh, Noah, go ahead and do the honors of putting the chicken in our chicken curry pot. Good job. Okay, so now our chicken, potatoes are cooking in the curry paste. What we're gonna do now is add all of the ingredients, okay? So we're going to take a teaspoon of our curry powder. So let's put a teaspoon of curry powder in. Perfect, put it in the pot. Then we're gonna take a teaspoon of our chili powder. and do this over the pot so nothing spills. There you go. And now we're gonna take a teaspoon of our garam masala. And if you want it extra hot, you put a big teaspoon. If you want it medium sized hot, just one, one little teaspoon is good, okay? Okay, so now Noah's gonna add some more ingredients. Uh, this is just normal black pepper. So we're gonna add probably about a half a teaspoon of black pepper, All right? Okay, and then we're going to add, uh, for this portion, we're going to add probably um, a couple of good shakes of salt. Okay, and last, we're going to add cumin. So go ahead, Noah, add some cumin in there. One more, big one. Perfect. All right, that is it for our ingredients. Um, so now we're going to mix it together and we're going to let it cook for probably about a good 35 to 40 minutes. Okay, so originally I, I think I said that we were going to make samosas, but I lied. Um, we're going to do something for my home state, Orissa, which is in India on the East Coast, which is called a pastel. And it's almost the same thing as a samosa, but instead of it just being filled with potatoes, it's going to be filled with uh, ground beef, 
a little bit of potatoes, some onions, and some peas. So Nikki is gonna help me put the onions and the potatoes in our ground beef that's already brown. Okay, come here Nikki, go ahead and slowly slide all that in. We got the onions and the potatoes. Don't cut my thumb off. All right, very good. Perfect. Good job. So we're gonna mix this together and we're also gonna put in some of the same Indian spices, okay? So let's put a little bit of cumin in, go ahead. Turn it upside down. Keep going. Okay, good. Put a little salt. Good. And a little bit of black pepper. Very nice. And we're going to let that cook for a little bit and then we're gonna add a few more ingredients. Okay, so we're gonna use some of the same spices for this pasta bowl, um, except for we're gonna cut the portions down to a half teaspoon of each. So why don't you put a half teaspoon of each of these. Um, that's good. Okay, put that in there. Take this, put a half teaspoon in, half teaspoon. Okay. Good. And then for this one, this is the chili pepper, right? We'll put just a tiny bit. Good. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to add some peas. And we're going to mix it all up. And that's going to be the filling for our pasta. Good job. Aren't we supposed to add ginger and garlic to the pasta? Yes, we are. Thank you for reminding me. So we're going to add just a tiny bit of garlic. Again, if you wanted this to be fresh, you would get the fresh ones from the grocery store and you would add it in. So just a little bit of garlic and ginger. And the other thing I forgot to tell you is we added a half a tomato to the chicken curry just to give it a little bit of extra um, goodness. Right now what we're gonna do is we're also gonna add some peas to the chicken curry, but you can add whatever vegetables you want. Some people add cauliflower, some people add green beans. We're gonna add our frozen peas because they, they taste well with the chicken curry. And we're mixing, and if we wanna add more, we can. And we're gonna let that thing simmer for a while. You wanna give it a good stir, Nicholas? Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Okay, so now we are ready to almost eat. Um, we have finished our chicken curry and it's got the peas, potatoes, and chicken with all of our good curry sauce. Next, we have finished the uh, pastel filling, which is ground beef, peas, and potatoes. And now we're making something called a perota, right? And a perota comes in these little frozen flat pieces, and you just warm it up with a little bit of Pam spray. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna choose to eat bread today. A lot of people eat rice with their chicken curry, um, but our family likes perota. You guys like that, right? Yes. Okay, very good. So we're gonna cook this up, and then I will take a, a quick video of the final presentation of what it all looks like. You guys hungry? Yes. yes. All right, good. Okay, so we have our final product. We have a perota. Uh, you can make it from scratch, but we got the frozen kind, so we can uh, quickly eat it. We have the chicken curry. So there you go, son, thanks for cooking it. Thank you. Nikki, come here. Are you ready for yours? Yes, sir. Okay, do you want rice or you want perotas? Perotas. Okay, very good. We'll get you in one second. Mm -hmm. All right, Nikki, thanks for helping cook some chicken curry and some perotas. You're all ready to eat. Thank you. Bon appetit. All right, so now uh, we have eaten our delicious chicken curry. How was it, guys? Very awesome. Good. Was very it spicy? Good. A little, yeah, a little bit. A little bit? Did we put a little bit too much? Yeah, maybe. It was still really good. Perfect. It was, it was still perfect. good. Okay, good. So now we're done. We cleaned up the kitchen. We cleaned ourselves up. We washed our hands real good. We cleared our, cleaned our countertop. Um, so now we're going to make a few pastels. So we made some dough, and the dough has 
Uh, it's just flour, all-purpose flour. Um, so you do two cups of flour. Um, you do a quarter cup of vegetable oil. You do a pinch of salt and you do a half a cup of water. And those are the ingredients. And then you kind of have to play around with a little bit, maybe add a little bit more water, add a little bit more flour to make it look like, like it's dough, okay? So what we're gonna do now is we're going to spread a little flour on our countertops. All right, guys? Mm -hmm. So we'll sprinkle a little bit like this, right? And that way our dough doesn't get stuck to the counter. counter. Good. Then we're gonna grab probably like a golf ball size, right? Mm -hmm. Like this, right? Mm -hmm. And we press it, okay? Nikki, can you grab that? So we put on one side, we put on the other side, okay? Now we're going to roll it. Now what's the shape of a, a pastel? Like a big circle. Tell, tell our friends here. Like a big circle. Like a big circle. Okay, so let's try it. Go back and forth. Good. It might stick over a little bit. Good. Now, when you're done with that, then you do it this way. All right, and then you go back like that, and you go back like this. All right. Now, when that's done, Noah, come here. Yes, sir. Take the spoon and, and put maybe one spoon of it in the middle of that. That good? Mm-hmm. Good. Perfect. Maybe just a little bit, like a quarter of a spoon in there. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Let's put this back there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pull this over like that. Okay. And then we're going to kind of pinch the sides together. Right? Mm -hmm. Then we're going to kind of shape it and make it look a little nice, right? Mm -hmm. So I kind of just pinch it like this, right? And we are done. And that's what one of them looks like. So what we'll do is we'll make maybe about 20 of these and we'll freeze it. And then on a later day, we'll <laughs> fry it in some hot oil. It'll taste yummy, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, great, thank you. All right, so this is the day after. Uh, Postules were frozen overnight to make it easy to fry. So we've fried up a lot of these postules and we're almost ready to go. Um, I'm actually taking these out because I don't want the kids to get hurt uh, with hot oil, but these ones are nice and cool. So why don't you guys take a plate and pick out, uh, pick out a um, postule. I'm taking this one because I made that one. Okay. I want this one because I need this. Okay, very good. Very All right, you guys take it. Okay. Go eat. It's yummy. And, you know, they're all different shapes and sizes, so um, you can have fun with it. Um, and that's it. So uh, hopefully you guys have a great uh, Asian uh, American Pacific Islander Heritage Month, and we were so happy to be able to do this for you guys. Take care.